What is up YouTube and welcome back everyone tuning in to the hub of Roblox. Coming at you all with another epic Roblox update this week again like always. In today's video, we're going to be going over whether or not Creecraft really thinks Roblox is dying or not along with all of the details too. It's going to be pretty wild so before we get started, make sure you all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel too and without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and dive straight into it. Players all around the world and the internet have had massive expectations for games in general, but for Roblox as well. Remaining, for the most part, the same structure for many years only with the addition of new cosmetics, events, and player creations to continue to keep it alive. There's that and also the massive support the game receives from Twitch streamers and content creators on YouTube who play the game daily with millions upon millions of people tuning in. 2021 was a firestorm to say the least, so everyone is looking forward to what the rest of 2022 will bring for the world of gaming, and hopefully the world in general since we know if businesses and corporations are affected, so are the producers and studios that create these games as well. So backtracking to Roblox again, a game that has for the most part kept its basic structure for quite some time now while keeping the game fresh with plenty of different events and new cosmetics coming out frequently. The game itself however, like mentioned earlier, is getting a little repetitive. In fact, we think if it wasn't for the huge variety of content creators on both YouTube and Twitch who keep the game alive and thriving by creating new game modes and finding interesting ways to have fun on the game. This is necessarily done by the makers of the game other than them holding up the servers. In a way, it's a player base that branches out the game themselves. We would hope to see a big overhaul with some of the content in the game. I would never want them to remove the vanilla portion as that should be an aspect of the game that will always be available to all players. They could potentially add a separate portion of the game that offers more modes on a different server and hosts custom games of some sort, maybe even a boost of the graphics that can't be done with mods. The possibilities are really endless with what they can do and they don't really have much more time left. Who knows, we might even see the end of Robux too. There have been a numerous amount of scams done to the children's side of the player base since the inception of the currency as there's nothing more they can do to minimize the risk of scams except spread awareness on how to recognize and avoid them. This is a major factor as to why Creecraft believes Roblox could potentially be dying. Creecraft has mentioned in the past that he thinks the state of the Roblox platform has been on both a steady decline downward and also a steady incline in innovation as well. Wait, how can that even be the case though? Well, while Roblox has been continually expanding on features found on the platform along with resources available to developers and users alike, they have also been getting hit hard by negatives such as scammers mentioned earlier and predatory consumer practices as well regarding the pricing and implementation of Robux and game passes across games. If Roblox continues on its path, it could become something entirely different which is what Creecraft fears the most because right now the game is still so much fun to play and create content on. However, if the company decides to continue moving in the direction of the metaverse and NFTs, it could very well be its downfall for older players while they attract an entirely new audience to experience the platform for themselves. This would be incredibly sad to see in our lifetime as Roblox has been so prominent for so many years now that any major changes such as that might just kill off a bunch of original players that have stuck with the platform for so long now. We're just have to wait and see what the company decides to implement or remove from the site as time goes on, along with any updates or comments that Creecraft might have about them as well. But go ahead and let us know what you all think about Creecraft's thoughts on Roblox dying soon down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and if you enjoyed what you saw then be sure you all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already for more of the best Roblox content out there on YouTube. You can also tap the notification bell icon as well to not miss out on any of the future uploads that we post either. This is the Hub of Roblox signing off and we'll catch you all in the next one.